Hi there, right, it's Joe from Canoe Bushcraft. Um, gonna do a uh, full spec review on the new build. It's a uh, Bob bug out boat. Um, overall length is just shy of uh, 16 foot. Um, main construction boat is um, marine ply. I've got the best grade for marine ply I could possibly get my hands on. And that's also um, sandwiched between um, one layer of uh, 50 odd gram um, woven cloth so it's coated with resin then the cloth's applied that is then applied with resin and any sort of areas which is going to be more susceptible to abrasion and all that kind of stuff i've then recoated those areas in like a chop strand just to give it that extra reinforced enforcement and uh and then finally it's um, resin washed again and then it's um, I've used the wrap to paint the bed liner which has got loads of um, decent properties for scuffing and protection UV and all the rest of it which is then sprayed I've got a couple of coats of that on as well so um, at the front end here bow end I've got uh, two small cleats which are reinforced uh, one to take uh, more in line and I, my anchor line can be attached as well, but then removed. And I can also use these, they're quite versatile, I can use them for other bits and bobs. So uh, also at the front, I've got a uh, standard boat hatch, which is a watertight hatch, which is lockable. And a reasonable size, little bulkhead here, compartment, up to 30, 35 litres of kit. It's 100% waterproof. I have a light system in here for, for the uh, night time so I can actually see what I'm actually rummaging around for and also I've got two uh, spot lamps here we, these are also 100% waterproof you can normally find these on trucks and 4x4s and so on uh, there's around 800 lumens per lamp and there's six LED bulbs per lamp uh, which all runs off the 12 volt system that I've got um, fit to the boat okay so um, and also moving on I've got some heavy duty you know carrying handles these are bolted countersunk or flush fitted okay and here we have a standard 12 volt cigarette lighter type charging port and two USBs as well uh, these are waterproof and they do illuminate during the night as well. You'll see there's like blue lighting. Um, it's a completely sealed watertight bulkhead, this, this whole front end. It will act as a buoyancy. Um, this is also a completely sealed watertight um, seat. So it also acts as a buoyancy. Um, this will be coated with a rubberized seating mat, which will be um, glued down eventually. And also toying with the idea of the 140mm uh, flush um, little cargo pockets you can get. You can unscrew them, there's a bag already attached to it. So, uh, but, um, maybe on a, a later video I'll show you when they're fitted if I decide to do so. Also these pipes that you can see either side, it's where it's just chasing all the wiring from the front end, the interior light, exterior lights and the charging dock. Okay, so moving over to the centre here this is where the uh, the power bank is charge control we'll show you that in a minute um, I've also got some two telescopic um, single blade paddles so it can be paddled um, in a traditional open canoe type manner they clip off out the way so it doesn't interfere with any kit they're easy accessible and yeah I thought that was quite a nice touch Anyway, moving on to the actual power area. Popping out of the way. This at the moment is just a standard car 12 volt battery, as it, the whole thing is a prototype at this moment of time. Uh, this will be replaced with a leisure deep cell battery. There's plenty of room in here for other dry storage that if I need it for electronics or anything like that. They could be in um, dry bags and so on. All of this here, I will have a sealant on it, a rubber sealant, so when the light is then clamped, this will be waterproof. Um, this is the charge controller for the solar system. 
So you've got your load in and out. Um, most of you know how these that are familiar with them all know what they are. Um, eventually, like when I, once the leisure battery, I will have a set a separate box for it, so it can be portable. I can take it onto land and and use it for other applications. So there's the uh, the actual powerhouse of the boat at this moment of the time. It all seals down with these clips. Like I say, once the uh, the seals are fitted, this is going to have a much tighter and waterproof fit to it. And as you can see, this is the rest of the pipe, and it's coming down, feeding the wiring in. Okay, um, running a 30 watt panel at the moment, which will trickle charge the 12 volt um, battery. Does that no problem at the moment? Um, Ideally, this needs to be set a little bit higher, but um, I'm still playing with it and I eventually want to replace it with the, uh, the full flexible roll-up type panels that you can get, um, which would just be easier for stowing and so on. Um, I've got the, the rocker switches here. This is a waterproof system as well. I've got the uh, standard 12 volt cigarette lighter type charger. Same as the front end and I've also got a double um, USB and also on the actual charge control there's two more USB chargers there av available. The switches is basically this one here will be for the front flood floodlights. Um, the motor even though you still have to turn on the motor at that end as well which I'll show you. Um, interior lights because I've got an interior light for inside here for the you know those for the evening time if I need to access anything get any information off the charge controller which will inform me how much juice is left in the battery and this switch here turns these on and off all of the charging ports so I can always just have them completely turned off to save any kind of battery usage. Um, moving along I've got split oars and the, the Rollock system that I'm using they clamp on and off so I can just depending where I want to sit, if I want to sit in the centre or in one of the other seats and I can move them along. Um, I think the standard rowing um, position is there, the rollocks are basically like 10 inches away from where you actually sat, so I can um, I can have a play with those, but these all kept on, stowed out the way, no interference with kits, but they're there, so I've got three methods of propulsion basically. I can paddle it the traditional way, the, the single blade split paddle, um, telescopic paddle there, or I can row it, and obviously the electric motor, which we'll see in a bit. And this rear seat, exactly the same as the front, it's a completely sealed seating unit, so it's, it'll act as a buoyancy as well. This is also going to be coated, uh, covered with some sort of more comfortable rubberized um, seating, and there will probably be another flush little mini bulkhead. 140mm one fitted as well just for easy access if you've got any leak that you want to access quickly so um, this is all reinforced all the seats are reinforced so um, yeah so now moving on to the the rear of the boat originally it's identical to the front end but I've obviously had to cut a best part of a foot off of it just to um, fit the flat transom back in to take the actual motor. I've got two small cleats on here, uh, one for another mooring line and obviously I can have my anchor line at this end or it just gives me that versatility again. I've got two more of the uh, reinforced handles uh, which are all countersunk. Um, the wires are neatly tucked away. The motor have got these um, waterproof connectors um, and I've also got small shelving here for stowing anything underneath, whether it's a small baler, sponge, that kind of stuff. It just gives me that extra little bit of, sort of variety of what I can do with a bit of kit in the back here. The actual motor itself is a Shakespeare. It's the 54 pound thrust, which is more than enough that I'd need for this sort of size boat weight. Um, this is uh, five forward speeds and two reverse. It's super, super quiet. Um, running at full speed, look at it about say four to five, uh, four and a half to five hours, 
uh, running time. Um, it's got the telescopic arm on it. It's it's quite actually quite light, and it just works the same way as a conventional uh, combustion outboard engine. Um, also, it is cleat, so I can have some sort of safety line on here if anything should happen to that end of it. This end, the top end, is just basically the speed controller. The motor and everything else is at the bottom end, so it's it's 100% waterproof. It's um, yeah, it's a good little motor. Uh, that's the business end of the uh, the motor. This is the actual motor itself. It's a completely sealed unit. Obviously, it's all going to be water pipe. Yeah. The engine's also a. Uh, it's also made for sea for salt water plus the fresh water because you you can get them that they're just one or the other. But this is uh, quite a versatile one for both. And the other nice thing about the way that this is kind of set up is is a flat bottom boat, and then obviously. Towards the bow and stern, it then goes up like a traditional, almost like a traditional open canoe uh, or skiff. And with this on shallow, if I were really going to like really shallow water, um, I can quite easily just adjust this engine up to here. I've got clearance for steering, but this is well above the centre of the hull. So on shallow water, as long as the hull's clear, then I can still run this in quite shallow water without causing any damage to the prop or the, uh, the actual skeg. So it's uh, yeah, it's quite a versatile little setup. And you can really get into some shallow water with it. It's running on rivers where the the height of the waters vary so quickly and so on. So uh, so. That's the uh, the update and the, the review so far. Uh, there will be some as it progresses, as I start using the boat more often and um, start using the, the bits and bobs that I've got already all fitted to the boat. Um, no doubt I will start updating stuff or probably adding more things as I go along with this little journey with Bob the bug out boat, um, new things are coming out and I will start changing a few bits like the solar panel system will be changed and whatever else comes along so uh, but thanks for watching and uh, keep tuned there will be more videos but where Bob's actually out on the water and, uh, and yeah and I'll just share the journey with you guys and if there's any ideas you have that I could put on there, if anyone else has done a similar type thing, then leave a comment, let me know what else I could actually do to it. And uh, so, cool things. See you later.